Hey everyone, my name is Jay Anthony Allen. Welcome to Sampling Explored. In this class, we're gonna be working with a lot of different samplers and designing our own samplers with our own set of samples so that we can produce with our sounds and also some other sounds. So what we're gonna be looking at in this class is the NN19. We'll go into a lot of detail about how this works, explaining all the parameters, how to load in our own samples and map them to the keyboard using different zones, and also applying envelopes, filters, other things that will be familiar to you if you know synthesis. And then we'll move on to the NNXT, which is like the NN19, but a little more complicated, gives us a lot more control over our individual samples. Every sample here gets its own set of parameters for all of this stuff. We can also set up here not only zones based on the key, but also zones based on velocity, which we have down here. And then we'll look at drum sampling using the redrum and going through how all of this stuff works. And then we'll spend a good amount of time on the step sequencer and how to use the step sequencer to design beats that you can then incorporate into your productions using Reason's built-in sequencer. And then finally, we'll look at the Kong Drum Designer, which is a really powerful way to really sculpt drum sounds into exactly what you want them to sound like. All the while, we'll be talking about basic sampling techniques, a bit of synthesis techniques as it comes in in the Kong Drum Designer and in the filter sections and some of the other sections of the different samplers. And it's gonna be a really fun class. So if you have any desire to understand how to incorporate sampling into your productions, then you should definitely check out this class. So without further ado, let's move on to the inside and we'll get started. Thank you.